Hello, this is Brandon Nicholson, Executive Director of The Hidden Genius Project. Our mission is to train and mentor black male youth in technology creation, entrepreneurship, and leadership skills to transform their lives and communities. You're watching this video right now because you volunteered to be an interviewer with us at the Intensive Immersion Program Interview Day. We're very thankful for your support and for you volunteering your time. We want to leave you with a few thoughts about this program and about this day, things to remember as you interview our young people. First and foremost, understand that the program is a 15-month intensive program, cohort-based, spanning 800 hours. Um, so a lot of time building software, uh, learning about business and entrepreneurship, as well as leadership, including issues around identity development, community, and social justice. And so as we seek uh, to build this cohort, uh, just remember a few things. One, we're looking to build a heterogeneous group. That means we're not uh, discriminating, you know, or trying to isolate for particular backgrounds. So we're not just looking for first time college students or for people of a certain um, socioeconomic status. We're not looking at GPA or resume either. What we're trying to do is bring young men together in a cohort-based environment so they can support one another. That means if they go to a great school, a school that's not so great, if they're, you know, from a more well-off background or, if, you know, they don't have much to speak of, we're not trying to, uh, you know, solve for that or, or isolate certain populations. We want them all to come together. And so that means that we articulate need in different ways than what you might be used to. We think that people who have access to a great deal of opportunities but may not have support, mentorship, or a sense of fellowship in their environments, they may need more assistance. So keep that in mind. Number two, we're not looking always for the right answer. We're looking for resilience and persistence and an articulation of a uh, clear thought process and answers. For example, when we do problem solving questions, uh, we ask questions about algebra or mathematics, and yes, there are right answers, and we're looking to see if they get that, but really we want to see, do they persist even when they can't get it? Uh, are they able to at least talk through their process? Because this program, the 15 months they spend, and the 15 months they spend outside the program, uh, will basically bring them any number of challenges opportunities and failures, right? So we need to see, are they willing to make a commitment? Are they willing to hang in there and work it out? If they can't do that, then this particular programmatic component may not be the best for them. Finally, uh, we're not looking for a great deal of polish, right? We don't need them to have the firmest handshake or to always look us in the eye or to articulate extremely well. If they say ask and not ask, that's okay. If they're not, you know, uh, always smiling or what have you, that's fine. What we're trying to see is are they passionate or at least committed to trying to better themselves and to try something new. Um, they don't have to have a great deal of experience in technology. They don't have to have a great deal of know-how in any of these spaces, but they need to be willing to make that commitment. So just think about that. Think that we're trying to empower these young men to elevate their potential, reveal their potential, and do it together to create collective power. And just remember that on this day, you're going to have a great time. Um, you're going to I get to meet a lot of young people and you'll be inspired. So really own it, have fun, and keep an open mind and an open heart. And we appreciate all your support and we will see you soon. Thank you.